everyone, it's Miss Lindsay with another story time from the Hoover Public Library. Today we're going to tell a really fun fairy tale called Falling for Rapunzel by Leah Wilcox. Now, this is a really fun fairy tale because it's not like the normal story of Rapunzel that you normally know. There's definitely a Rapunzel in it. See, it says Falling for Rapunzel at the top. And this is my friend Rapunzel that's going to help me tell the story. Isn't that right, Rapunzel? Now, this is what we call a twisted fairy tale. So it's like the regular story, but just with a little twist. So let's see if we can think about what we already know about the fairy tale Rapunzel. So, hmm, Rapunzel's normally locked in a what? A tall tower, that's right. And normally she throws something to get out of her tower. Do you know what it is? What does she use to get down? I think it's her hair, of course. So she normally tosses her hair out of her tower and that's how she gets out, right? And that's the story of Rapunzel. But it looks like we have a tower back here. So there's definitely a tower. Uh, but I think this Rapunzel might toss something different out of her tower. What do you think, Rapunzel? Oh, she says you guys are just gonna have to wait and see. So without further ado, let's get started in falling for Rapunzel. Once upon a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. From up above, he heard her whine, upset her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea and sallied forth to set her free. Alas, she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your hair! She thought he said, your underwear. No, Rapunzel, your curly locks. But she threw down her dirty sock. Dirty socks? No, no, please love just your silky tresses. But Rapunzel thought he asked for silky dresses. Perhaps, he sighed, this is a test. And bound by love, he did not rest. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? But she heaved out her blue ribbon swine. Rapunzel, do you have a ladder? Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled, it's better cooked, you know. At this, the poor prince had a cry, then cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your braid. Confused, Rapunzel pushed out her maid. Whee! The maid fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with the coincidence. And leaning close so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met. He nodded. How could I forget? Rapunzel watched them ride from sight. I'm glad I finally heard him right. I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock on my back door. All right, everyone, that is the end of our story falling for Rapunzel. Thank you guys so much for listening with me today and telling that story with me. Thank you, Rapunzel, as well. She says you're welcome. Well, guys, I had so much fun today. Don't forget to tune in next time for another story time with the Hoover Public Library.